energy is the High Priestess. And it puts a focus on the women in your life. It could be a friend, a daughter, a sister, or it could be a connection to people who have inside information. So you could be getting some kind of knowledge from an advisor of some sort. And this is a week where your own intuition is very much so heightened. You may have mastery over your internal world. Maybe you've gained some psychological insight or some kind of spiritual enlightenment. There is a hidden influence, something going on behind the scenes. Perhaps there's a secret that has yet to be revealed. So this is a week that focuses on help, advice, and the unknown. And it also lends a heightened amount of emotion to events. You can uh, feel what people are feeling and vice versa. And the response is a reflection or a projection of what's being given or received. Now, this is a week where perhaps you're relationships to women will be changing in some way, whether they are professional or personal alliances. They're going to undergo some kind of change, re-evaluation, or reconstruction as you rely on your intuition to guide you. But you will have to monitor your moods because, again, that emotion is heightened. And this is a week where it's very important that you don't let that overwhelm you, that you try to stay, you know, focused strictly on the facts. There could be a situation where you have a strong desire to protect someone, someone you care about, a loved one. And that desire to perhaps make decisions or guide or help create some kind of challenge, friction, or tension in the relationship. And again, you have to be on point with your intuition so that you don't think you're being led to your destiny when in fact it's just your emotion. This is a week that brings opportunities, those that appear golden, but you do well to read the fine print because most of the opportunities this week will have some kind of string attached to them. They may be, you know, working in your favor, but, you know, they don't come free of charge. Maybe it's something material or, you know, some opening for you. Now, in the negative, the high priestess is, is out of touch with her intuition. She's all logic. She's analytical. So she suppresses a very important, Important part of herself. If that's the case, this could be a week where, you know, you are operating through some kind of bias. Maybe you're intolerant of the views of others. Uh, maybe there's a prejudice in some way, or you're not using your intuition to the best of your ability. And so you may be insensitive to others or hypersensitive yourself. Maybe you're just skimming the surface of a situation. So there could be some superficiality. And it could be that you're looking outside of yourself for some kind of validation. Or you're relying too much on your rational thought. You may be, you know, looking at circumstances and finger pointing. Maybe, you know, you're too quick to change the rules as long as, you know, it favors you or you change a matter to suit yourself, whether that is to overcome some kind of obstacle or to confuse the people around you or to outmaneuver the competition. In which case, this desire to, you know, stir the mix, you may attract some kind of intrigue some kind of uh, drama that you're really not prepared to handle. So this is a week where you're going to reevaluate how you feel about someone or a situation, your belief system, some kind of promise that was made, or some kind of goal. And the best thing you can do 
is to listen to your inner self so that it can guide you to see things clearly so that you can handle a situation more effectively or more quickly later on in the future.